His recovery has been described as a sort of tug of war. 17 year old Eric Cantu remains in intensive care tonight, more than three weeks after a now fired San Antonio police officer opened fire on him. His family says that they are praying for his recovery, and they've also made time to pray for the former officer, James Brennan, who's charged in that shooting. The night team's John Paul Barajas joins us from University Hospital, where Eric is being treated. John Paul, what do we know about his recovery? Steve, Stephania, Eric Antu's family says his recovery has been a constant back and forth between medications and a ventilator keeping their son alive. They added while they've been praying for his condition to improve, they've also been praying for the former officer charged with shooting him. Because he's a father too. So 10 minutes of the prayer that we were having to lift Eric up was also to lift him up. But he needs to pay for what he did because you don't shoot at something 10 times unless you're trying to kill it. Strong words from Eric Andu's family for James Brennan. Body cam video shows the former San Antonio police officer shoot 17-year-old Eric Cantu on October 2nd. Get out of the car. Cantu's right. parents tell us at least four bullets hit their son and ricochet through his body. A single bullet remains near Eric's heart. His father says the mental trauma is just as bad as the physical. Sleeping, what we think is a peaceful sleep, to hallucinations and raising his hands and trying to press the pedals to the car and pushing gun symbols. These are the things we have to see daily that no one has seen. The can do is explain Eric has woken up. He's also overcome fevers, pneumonia, and can whisper thanks to a trach tube. They had Eric's car was not stolen like the officer believed and that their son ran out of fear. Matter of fact, he wanted to be a police officer. We have multiple years of pictures of him in his Halloween costume being a police officer. <laughs> and running around that thing for days on end. He's vibrant, yes, determined, strong, smart. He's funny. funny. The family called Eric a survivor and they believe he'll make it through this. Their attorney adds they want justice, not just in the criminal, but also in the civil and legislative sense. Because don't all our children go to McDonald's? Don't all our children sit and eat a cheeseburger? And if we don't get justice for Eric Cantu, then next time it could be you. Attorney Ben Crump didn't get into specifics, but he said their team of lawyers will explore every legal avenue. As for the Gantus, they said it's not right or fair that Eric is here at University Hospital. Meanwhile, Brendan is on the streets out on bond. John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News.